Hi, Andrew here. We're gonna test another weird bullet today. Today we're gonna to take a look at 223 80 grain hog strike. Now, if you didn't know, 80 grains is very heavy for a 223 bullet. Uh, most people would say that 55 or 62 grains is the standard bullet weight in 223 or 556. Um, 40 grain bullets are, tend to be for varmint purposes. Um, 75 and 77 grain match bullets are heavy for caliber. So 80 grains is at the very upper limit of bullet weights for 223. And the projectile construction is also really unconventional. It has this sort of rounded front to it and a little polymer ball in there, copper jacket, and a, again, a centered metal core, just like that power strike that we tested before. However, heavier bullet, theoretically, generally speaking, a heavier bullet ought to result in more mass retained and therefore a deeper penetration. We're gonna shoot it out of my 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper into calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. Let's get out to the range and take a look. At first glance, without even measuring, we can see that this is well under 12 inches, despite the heavy weight and the uh, relatively high sectional density. We got big fragmentation here. Of course, obviously, big, huge temporary stretch cavity, but the deepest fragment, 8.2 inches, there is essentially no neck. Temporary stretch cavity measures three inches by, well, <laughs> eight inches, really. The TSC is almost as deep as the deepest fragment. We'll get you a little bit closer here so you can see what's going on in the gel. Maybe a little bit better view up here on top. You can probably just barely see at the edge of the frame here these two deepest fragments. Most of it is this dusty stuff right here in the middle and of course a nice big TSC but while that might be adequate for hunting some smaller animals it's definitely not adequate for defense and probably not a great choice for hunting larger hogs. Okay let me be blunt this penetration is absolutely totally inadequate for defensive use. It should not be used for defensive purposes uh, we've discussed this before, but the reason for that 12 inch minimum is that you need a projectile that's capable of getting deeply enough into a bad guy to reach vital organs, even if you have to shoot through a limb, even if your shot impacts the torso at an oblique angle because they're firing from a prone position or you've fallen back into a supine position after being attacked or for whatever reason your bullet has to travel through more tissue than just a direct center shot in the middle of the chest. Bear in mind that if your target looks like I do right now, that target is probably not a threat to you and they call that murder. Most of the time your target's going to look something more like this. Or maybe they're attacking someone else. And in both of those examples, your bullet would have to go through a lot more tissue than if you shot like this. That's why this penetration, absolutely a no-go at this station. And also not the best choice for big hogs. No idea why they called it hog strike unless they meant javelinas, but that's not what most people have in mind when you say hog. The velocity was really impressive for the bullet weight at, out of a short barrel is moving along pretty well. And it was really consistent velocity too. This is probably very accurate ammunition, although that rounded nose profile isn't going to result in a very good ballist, uh, ballistic coefficient. Now I know a lot of you probably disagree with some of the things I've said, 
And I've, as I've said before, I'm no expert, so you're free to disagree, at least with my opinions. Not so free to disagree with the experts, I mean, at least, and have anyone take you seriously. That said, I love to hear your comments on these things. Definitely leave a comment below, tell me what you think. And if you want to find out how you could rent a phantom high-speed camera just like the one that I used in this test, get in touch with AIMED Research. Their contact information is in the description. Have a great day.